and 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 I hope that uh, you know when you when you can get out and start touring again, uh, and we all hope that that's sooner than later, regardless of who the act is. It would be nice to get some back to some semblance of normality, but. You know, if you ever do come down to Florida, you've yeah, you got to let us know. Oh, I definitely will. I absolutely and, and, will. And and one other one other thing too, and then I'll, I'll throw it back to David. Um, you mentioned that your husband got you know is a marine, and uh, I know it sounds trite because everybody says it, but I really mean it. Please thank him for myself, and I think I speak, speak for David as well. Absolutely. Uh, thank him for his service uh, because you know the, what what he did is a, a wonderful thing. Absolutely. I, I absolutely will share that with him. It was bittersweet for him getting out. Um, he always thought that he would be a lifer, but, you know, children change everything. <laughs> and he Life didn't does miss throw some curves. <laughs> Life yeah, does throw some curves at us. Yeah. Michaela, and, uh, you've, got, you've gotten back into the music. You've got a, one release out already, the second one, which is coming out soon, which we'll be playing here in a couple of minutes. Do you have any uh, music videos coming out with them? Absolutely. I just released Pieces about a month ago, and we did a music video down in New Orleans for that. We, we went on vacation and stayed at the beautiful Le Pavilion Hotel, which is supposed to be the most haunted hotel. So that oh. was perfect. That's the theme. I mean, it was absolutely beautiful. So when we were checking out of the hotel, I was like, Ryan, grab your camera. We're just we're just going to start taking some shots in here. And we did. Um, so now that we have gotten one under our belt, we're going to continue down that path and make one for darkness as well as Alice. So I'm super excited. I don't blame you. And we're excited for you. We get to see these videos and listen to the music you're creating. And you are definitely, you've definitely gotten back in stride quickly. Uh, darkness is proof of that. Uh, just a quick question of, about the next track we're going to play. Is Alice a haunted tune as well? <laughs> it's a little harder rock than I think I've ever done. Um, I would say it's, it's, it's haunting. Um, I wouldn't say it's really you know, dark, like darkness, um, the, the mm -hmm. lyrics, but again, just coming out of, you know, all of this madness that's going on in the world right now, just feeling lost and, sure. you know, the division, the lies and misinformation. I just wanted to write about how I was feeling, you know, songwriting, you have the ability to relate to others and music has that power to make you feel different emotions and overcome. So it, it was kind of a therapy. So, I would say it's, it's a little bit haunting. Um, again, I wanted to release it in October for a reason. So. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna ask you something, and I, I just lost my train of thought uh, listening to you there. But uh, we will be. Uh, we will be playing Alice. Oh, I know what I was going to say when you were talking about the, the haunting, the darkness, and how the you know the, the theme does invade Alice as well. Uh, I wanted to ask when we are going to hear some music that comes from the happy, bright side of you, uh, this, this new life that you have with your new husband, your new child, and your whole new system with your new roots and everything. When, when is that going to, do you have any idea when that's going to pervade your music? Yeah, so that will be actually after, Alice. I'm glad you brought that up. So with Darkness, I worked with Chris Wintrip. Um, he's a Rock and Roll Hall of Famer with his band in the 70s, Brimstone. He actually is the one who introduced me to Joe Vitale from the Eagles, and I got to perform with him in 2019, wow. which was super cool. Um sure. But I'm actually working with him on some kind of country rock. So that that will be the happy side, um, you know, telling a story. You know, I like to tell stories mm -hmm. coming out of the depression and, you know, how great life is. So I'm super excited about the road that, you know, we're, we're headed down right now. So, And it seems to fit you well. Don't change a thing. Just run with it because it sounds like you've got your you found your place in life and it's working for you and that is just great. We're so happy for you. We congratulate you again. Be sure to extend our wishes to your hubby. And uh, before we let you go, as we always do, because we like to give you a chance to sell yourself, besides just playing the music, tell the folks where they can find you, how they can follow you, and of course where they can get your music. Absolutely. So rockinmichaela.com, 
R O C K I N Michaela M I K A Y L A dot com. I am on Facebook at Rockin' Michaela. I am on iTunes. I am on Twitter, Instagram at Rockin' Michaela. Um, and then all the social media links are on my website as well. So come follow me. I like to communicate with my fans. And of course, I love the feedback. Um, so, so hang out with me and be along for the ride. Fantastic. We want to thank you so much for being here with us. Don't forget that you have our, uh, our Facebook page, the David Bowers Awards Facebook Music Groups page, where you can post all of your new information, your new releases, rumors, anything that you want to share. I always caution people, don't send any secrets because we are very bad at keeping secrets. But if you post it there, we can pick up on it and share with our other social media sites. It saves you the trouble of sending out a press release to all the social media sites we're on. And uh, you don't need a press release for us. Just post it up there and uh, we'll forward it on to our other social media sites. Awesome. Will do, David. John, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you oh, so much. It's wonderful for having, having you here. Absolutely our pleasure having you back here. All the very best, Michaela. Just one more thing. Don't stay away so long. Oh, I definitely won't. Oh, my gosh. Fantastic. It's Thank you so much, you ladies and gentlemen. Her <laughs> name is Michaela, and you know by now, if you heard the first tune, she knows how to rock. Here she is. This is a world premiere. It's not going to be released. As a matter of fact, I wanted to ask you, what's the release date on this? October 26th. October 26th. Ah, my mother's birthday. <laughs> All right. You'll hear this. Happy It'll be available day. October 26th. <laughs> You'll hear it first right here on the David Bowers Award. Here's Michaela with Alice.
she wasn't kidding, was she? Talk about some heavy rock Ooh. and roll. That's pretty good. I like it. Yeah, it is. Alice, and I, I wanted to mention before we uh, close up shop for the week, uh, in talking with Michaela after uh, we started the two, and, uh, for our listeners out in the Phoenix area, be watching for her because she will be out in Phoenix in the middle of October, the 16th to 17th, right around there. So be watching for it. And if you, uh, if you like her music, check her out online, find out exactly when and where she's going to be playing. And, uh, hey, who knows? We might run into you there. John Bon Jovio, closing comments? Well, a good show, varied music. I, I like Michael Coleman's stuff. He uh, had a lot of good things to say about his project. And, of course, having the Smith sisters uh, start the show off I thought was pretty cool. And, of course, Michaela. You know, she's always a joy. I love talking to Michaela. And uh, she's been a good friend of ours for many years now. And uh, she has, just and all I'm in so... all, really enjoyable show. I can't believe the time has gone by as quickly as it has. I know it. Time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, and it was fun today. It really it was. It was. We want to thank our guests, Michael Coleman of See Your Shadow Songwriting, and, of course, the irrepressible Michaela, who we're so glad to have back on the show again, and so glad to hear how her life has turned around, and she's got herself a, she's got herself a good life. We love it. We love happy endings, and with that, I'll throw it to you, John Bon Jovial, because it's time to take us home. Yes, it is. Hey, folks, thank you so much. You did it again. Spent another perfectly good hour with us here at the David Bowers Awards, and we truly are grateful for your presence, and hopefully you'll be with us again next week. The David Bowers Awards is broadcast around the world from the studios of Computer Help USA in Naples, Florida, and of course from the Valley of the Sun in Tempe, Arizona. And we are available for free on most of the major streaming services, including now the all-new podchaser.com forward slash the David Bowers. Uh, be sure to follow the David Bowers Awards on Blog Talk Radio, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and of course course on Facebook and join us next week for the David Bowers Awards Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern on our flagship radio station WRFZ FM 106.3 in Rochester, New York, otherwise known as Rochester Free Radio. And on Blog Talk Radio, Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific and 6 p.m. UTC. So until next week, for the David Bowers and all of the uh, crew here, uh, this is the lovably and legendary John Bon Jovial saying, uh, go get that booster shot when it's your turn. And we'll see you next week right here on the David Bowers Awards.